You're watching Gold Rush and a Russian. We're looking back at Season 1, Episode 3, Running Dirt. So what happened? With only four months left in the season, the Hoffmans have yet to start mining. They have their shaker, trommel, and duplex jig, but no one knows how to put them together. Mechanic Harness is willing to try, but then his back goes out, his morphine is unable to dull the pain, he gets a chest infection, and then goes on three days of bed rest. Meanwhile, on the other side of camp, Thurber and Greg battle with Dorsey, who has a habit of leaving power tools running, unsupervised. But then Dorsey leaves camp with Todd to drive to the airport to pick up their wives and children. Dorsey's wife, upon seeing they have accomplished nothing, wonders what they've been doing this entire time. Apparently, she's been reading the audience's mind. Facing a mutiny from his crew because of a lack of progress, Todd comes up with nine tasks they can accomplish in 72 hours to get them mining, and one of them is to keep Dorsey away from power tools. In order to get them all done, Todd calls in Dave Turin, making the first of many times Dave will save the day. First they dig their holding pond, which nearly floods, and then they set up their jig and test their shaker, which nearly shakes itself off its foundation, because apparently no one thought the shaker would shake. After anchoring it down, they turn on the power again, and it works, causing hugs and handshakes to get passed all around. Best Lines Todd faces mutiny and the forces of nature threaten to destroy the camp. As soon as somebody gets run over, you'll eat those words. If you want to come hard, come hard. Without Dave figuring this out, I honestly think I'd screw this up. Me and my dad would screw this up royal. Join us next time when we'll see Todd Hoffman continue to live the American dream, assuming the dream is to never find gold.